So here we're making maple mustard vinaigrette, which is really great on any salad. One thing that we love about this vinaigrette is that it doesn't take quite as much of the vinaigrette to get a really good flavor on a salad as opposed to ranch dressing. So for instance, we we'll, might use one tablespoon of this vinaigrette as opposed to two tablespoons of ranch dressing, so we get a lower calorie count that way. It's a really flavorful dressing, it's really easy to make, and it's really a fun for kids to make. So we're just going to get started and I'll show you how to whip it together and then show you what you can do to get your kids involved. So we're going to start off with our vinegar. So we've got some apple cider vinegar here. And we're going to pour in one tablespoon of the vinegar. And if you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use another type of vinegar. Uh, but it will change the flavor of it a bit. And you could also use a lemon juice if you wanted to. That's really going to change the flavor. So try to keep it as consistent as you can with your ingredients. So now we're going to need two teaspoons of maple syrup. Remember, pure maple syrup. One. And two. A little bit of that goodness. All right, and now we're going to do two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So Dijon mustard, different than yellow mustard. It's a little bit spicier. More of a kick, has a different, light, slightly different flavor. Uh, that flavor is a bit deeper, a little bit more acidic. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. All right, now we're gonna put in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Fresh ground is ideal. Don't be afraid to reach into your spice rack and grab some pre-ground black pepper. So one eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're also going to do one eighth of a teaspoon salt. All right. Before we get to whisking, we're going to grab our oil, and we do need two tablespoons of oil. So I'm going to prepare one tablespoon because it's really um, important to drizzle your oil in. It keeps things uh, together that way. So we're just going to get a pre-mix going here. Once I start to see the ingredients all mixed together, I'm going to get started on drizzling that oil in. So the mustard is going to act in this ingredient as something called an emulsifier, which keeps things together longer. So Typically, oil and water separate, which vinegar is mostly made from um, water, as far as um, it's not an oil-based substance. Now we're going to go ahead and get our second tablespoon ready. All right. Walnut oil smells really good. Now we're going to drizzle this in, and this allows a little bit of the time so that our whisk can break up those oil molecules and get mixed in and around any of the water molecules that are in the salad dressing. And again, that mustard acts as kind of like a, an agent to hold everything together. All right, so we've got our oil in there, and I'm gonna lean it over and give it a really good stir. Everything has come together. If you're having a little bit of trouble getting everything to come together, you can stir in just a little bit of warm water and that'll kind of give it the opportunity to mix in better. So that's one way you can make this dressing. You could also instead pour all of the ingredients into a mason jar or any sort of jar that caps with a lid that will be liquid proof. Cap it nice and tight and then give it to a kid and then just let them shake it till it's all mixed together. And that provides something that's safe and fun for kids to do in the kitchen, helps you out a lot, and they're more likely to eat the salad because they helped make the dressing.